part two of winter upgrades the El Camino finally gets a nitrous kit by Nitrous Express. Alright, so pretty much what you get inside the nitrous mainline kit, the nitrous plate, it has a nitrous side and a fuel side. Your hard lines for your uh, nitrous solenoids. You got your fuel solenoid right here. You got your nitrous solenoid. You also get a uh, bottle nut with a dash four uh, fitting. Also comes with your dash four line, your uh, nitrous fitting, and your fuel fitting. Now I'm not going to use this fuel fitting because it's a bar fitting on one end and you slide a rubber hose on that. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to put a uh, braided line like everything else in my car so but this is what comes with it you also get your um your fittings for your uh activation button you get your fittings for your uh cylinders you get your carb studs nuts washers and also your jets then you got your uh armor switch and your activation switch your band clamp uh, bottle brackets it doesn't come with uh, bolts and stuff so you need to go get you some uh, bolts these are 5 16 bolts uh, one inch long then you obviously get your 10 pound nitrous bottle this is the budget nitrous kit uh, it fits my bill perfectly because I'm trying to do a little bit without spending a whole bunch of money on um, car ran good on motor once we get it dialed in, because it had a little bit of problems with running rich, so I'm going to try to fix that. Then we're going to hit it with some nitrous, and hopefully, she'll be able to get it down to where I'm trying to be. Which, uh, with what it ran on motor, should not be hard at all with just a little small shot. Um, we're still sporting a 7.5 rig. Uh, now, I'm going to use a Nitrous Express Maximizer Easy um, to help soften the hit and ramp it in. Uh, I'm going to order that. That's also something you can get to uh, help upgrade your kit. Now, this kit doesn't come with a uh, nitrous bottle gauge. Uh, it's just bare bones. It's just to get you started. But I will be getting a nitrous bottle gauge, um, the nitrous maximizer, and the uh, full throttle switch. So, and then that will pretty much complete my nitrous system. Now, I got a light here. I don't know how I don't know how good this light is working, but uh Alright, so now since we got the bottle brackets mounted, I'm going to put the bottle in and uh see about why I need to drill my hole for my uh nitrous line and uh keep on moving forward. So, got the ball mounted in the car. Uh, it's all nice and sturdy. Um, so now I can just uh, connect my uh, nitrous line, tape off this side, and start routing it towards the front of the car. And uh, then we'll be getting ready to take the uh, carburetor off and um, get ready to install the plate. All right, so here we are. Go ahead and place this gasket down and uh, right on. Fuel side comes to the front. Plate on. Get another gasket. Right. So. all right so here we go uh they give you a uh, qr code you can scan or you can just go to the nitrous express website and uh get all the instructions and this right here is the fuel chart uh what's in yellow is what is included in the kit it's got your uh horsepower level 
the nitrous jets, fuel jets, and if you run on E85, what your fuel pressure should be. So we can go ahead and uh, put our jets in. All right, so I skipped a couple steps. I forgot to turn the camera back on. It be that way sometimes, but uh, as you can see, we got the nitrous plate on. We got the jets in, turned this into a grudge car. You guys got to see what it ran on motor when it wasn't running 100%. So now we're going to spray it and uh, first we're going to get the motor dialed in some more. Then we're going to go ahead and hit it on the head with some uh, with some gas, see what it do. All right, so we're going down here to go check out this transmission. Yes, sir. Hopefully everything good. Yeah. Uh, Got the transmission secure, you know. Yeah. In the back. Yeah. Um, so yeah, about to get this show on the road. Block yeah. to the machine shop and uh, get that K-member swapped over. So yeah. Yeah. Check out the channel because it's about to be a big update. So stay tuned. We did finally go ahead and uh, pick up the transmission. Yes, sir. Well, I got a Turbo 350. Uh, you guys already know, building the LS for the Mustang. So yeah, uh, this is a 3200 stall converter. Also, um, how long did you have this? Like, did it even run in the car? Like, yeah, it ran in the car for. I think I had it in there for maybe about a year or two. Okay. Yeah. And, and then the I put that torque converter right here, slightly used, but it's gonna be perfect for what I need. 3200 stall. So yeah, gotta get this thing built up. Uh, turbo 350. We're gonna take that to uh same dude that built my transmission and uh get them right. I right, say so we still got the LS over there up underneath the Hi. uh yeah, it's hibernating over there up underneath the <laughs> trash bag and uh slowly coming together. Oh, yeah. So uh soon we gonna uh be on the road. Yeah, soon we're gonna be on the road with Right, so it's the next day and give y'all up close look of the uh nitrous express mainline kit obviously i haven't wired it up yet i'm waiting on a few things um waiting on the uh nitrous express mainline purge kit the uh wide open throttle switch for the carburetor and also the uh uh maximizer easy i'm gonna get all that then i wire up the kit um, but before we use it, I've been fighting a problem with this car for a while. It runs a little rich. Um, I adjusted the carburetor, but this car does not have an MSD box in it. The only thing I have is the uh, HDI distributor, but I have uh, gutted it and redid it. Uh, it's got the uh, MSD heat, um, got a, a MSD rotor and cap, uh, coil and all that good stuff in it. Um, but I'm going ahead and go to the, uh, I'm going to get the uh, MSD 6AL box and the blaster core and uh, go ahead and try to, uh, that should eliminate that little bit of rich um, that it's got, it's, like I said, it's a little rich. I played with it a little bit, but that box definitely cleared right on up. And uh, that was my problem that we had at the track. Like I said, it run a little rich. Uh, I tried to adjust it as much as I could, but I just need a box on it. So this car will be getting the MSD box. And uh, we'll try it again on motor and see what I can go on motor. And then we're going to turn the kit on and uh, try to reach my next goal. Um, originally, the goal for this car was just to run 780s on nitrous. And I was going to back away from it. I was going to leave it alone. But knowing that it ran faster than that it straight it went from 790 uh the first pass off the trail was 792 at 84 uh it was showing signs of being rich it was busting up just a little bit and uh we brought it back around to the pit uh adjusted the screws on it went back and it cleared up a little bit um ran a 790 flat and then we brought it back around again, adjusted again, let it cool off, uh, the air cooled off, 
went back and it busted off a 777 but it stumbled big time on the big end where it fell flat on his face uh about 60 feet out from the uh mile an hour et cones it picked back up afterwards so i lost at least two tenths there um at least so i'm gonna get that box put it up here and that should clear up rich problem with it being a little rich so get that get it dialed in and then we're gonna turn the kid on and uh move on to my next goal like comment and subscribe uh stay tuned for more definitely stay tuned for the first nitrous hit